So, there's a lot of confusion about emails and contracts for um, the sale of land in Alberta. Well, there should be no confusion whatsoever. Scenario uh, in question. You've got a client, they live out of town. You've been communicating via email, via phone call, so on and so forth. You receive an offer, you email it to your client out of town. Your client, as opposed to signing it, scanning it, and sending it back to you because they don't have access to it or even access to a fax machine, decides to uh, dictate the terms uh, and pricing from the offer in an email and sends you that email as acceptance of the offer. The question is, is that a legal binding contract? The answer is simply no, it is not. It must be a signed copy of the contract or agreement, whatever the agreement is, and it must be physically signed by both parties. In Alberta, it must be in writing, it must be signed, and it cannot, at this time, be an email. So don't be fooled. If you are dealing with somebody uh, who has a listing uh, and you're representing the buyers, and they send you an email verifying acceptance of the offer, make sure your buyers know that those sellers are not legally committed to that contract in no way, shape, or form. You can probably move forward to some degree, but let everybody know and of course get the signed paperwork as soon as possible. So the answer is no, it's not legally binding. Once again, make our team your team.